is Victoria's local land trust. We work from Souk to Galliano and everywhere in between. One of our goals is to teach and connect people with nature, and we do this with a variety of programs. We were started in 1996, and we have a staff of five people, but we have a large membership and volunteer base, and we really rely on those members and volunteers to help our programs be successful. We have to be somewhat creative in protecting nature in our area. We provide the opportunity for landowners who have ecologically sensitive land to donate their land, gift their land in perpetuity to be protected to have and as a park, as a gift. We also provide the opportunity for landowners who want to keep their property to sign volunteer conservation covenants, which are legal agreements that are voluntary and they stay on title in perpetuity. This allows us to restrict development, restrict um, subdivision, and keep the land as it was and their legacy intact. What I really believe that HAT does really well is that we incite a passion and an interest in people to learn about and care for land. To summarize a quote from a man named Baba Diong, who is uh, an engineer of all things from Senegal, he said, people will protect what they love, love what they understand, and understand what they've been taught. And I think HAT does a really good job of that. I'm lucky enough to do work with species at risk. This type of work is really great because we work with municipalities and community members and local organizations that are really excited about protecting these species at risk. We work with the blue-gray tail dropper, the western painted turtle, the western screech owl, sharp-tailed snake, amphibians as well as bats. And so all of these programs work to locate, do surveys to find out where these species live, and then we work to protect and enhance the habitat that they live in. One of the things that I like about HAT is how often we are out talking to people, and that can mean one-on-one, -on -one, meeting with people in their backyards. That means working with one of the many other organizations that are doing incredible work in this region. We have so many partners that we get to, to meet with and partner with on projects. It can mean being at community events. It can mean talking to people. It can mean even just making sure that there's resources available. Maybe we don't meet them, but maybe we give them a pamphlet on gardening or we give them some resource or some tool that they can use to make a difference in their backyard. And every time we do that, we connect with people and I hope that we make a, a small difference in, in a person's life each time that happens. We have heard the concerns from our community and they say we want to protect our forests, our meadows, and our wetlands, not just for now, but for future generations as well. And if you like nature in Victoria, and you like to get outside, you have a great reason to support HAT.